What's going, going on, on ladies, ladies and gentlemen? And gentlemen. <clears throat> thank, thank you for joining, for joining me. And, uh, yeah, yeah. I, thought I thought I'd do, I'd do a Friday, Friday night, night operations flight. flight. Um, so, so we, we can, can um, do, some, do fun. some fun. Yeah, yeah. So, so let's finish, finish getting started, started here. here. Um, you can, you see, can I've see I've got, got the game, the game loading. loading. Display capture. Okay, it's a it's display, display capture. Um, let me make sure I have the whole window to be displayed. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's, so that's good. good. Let me let do me a little, little bit of uh, advertising, advertising here. here. Oh. All right, we have, we have audio. audio. That's, That's good. good. Um, where am I going? Oh, I guess Facebook. Come coming out, out with me as, as I. I So it's finishing, finishing up, up getting, getting the flight, the flight ready. ready. So, so you can, you can follow, follow along, along as, as we do, do that. that. Um, so, so we're taking, taking off from Charlotte, so, so let's, let's go, go ahead, ahead and put, put Charlotte Airport, Airport Info. info. And let's, let's see what, what the, the digital eight eight is, eight is saying, saying as far as, far as, as what, what is the expected, expected departure. departure. Expect, Expect three, three six, six center, three six right, 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 Go with, Go with that. that. We are doing, doing the, the Army, Army Four departure. departure. Let's, take Let's take a look, a look at, at that. that. So, so, so from three, three six, six Charlie, Charlie climbing, climbing and heading zero, zero three, three to twelve hundred sixty feet, and then on, on heading, heading three three zero, zero or assigned by, by AC max, max altitude, altitude is eight thousand until we assign. assign. Okay. okay. So, um, that's, that's really, really like all, all of this information, information. If, you've if you've never read, read a Jetson chart, chart, which that's, that's, that's what these are, these are, are uh, Jetson charts, charts that, that uh, I, I was actually, actually use these, uh, and they've been, been recreated by, by a graph for, for the flight, flight community. Sim community. And they're really, really accurate, accurate actually. actually. Um, um, so you can, so you can see, see it gives you some of the... Uh, frequencies, frequencies that the, that the airport, airport uses, uses the, the uh, transition, transition altitude, altitude and, and some, some of the other, the other requirements. requirements. Don't, don't necessarily need to memorize all of this, all of this but, but it's a, it's good, a good idea, idea to know, know what, it, what is. it is. And because, and because it's an RNAV, RNAV departure, departure, you're going to really, really be using, using your, your heading, heading um, instead, instead of waypoints. waypoints. So, so uh, and generally, generally they will... Uh, have, have you climb, climb and then, then make, make your left, left, so it's going to be a left, left turn, turn 330 zero from, the, from south. the south. So we'll, so be we'll take, be taking off, off and then, and then 330 zero out, out this way, way. And, then, and then turning, turning around, around to Meshi. To Meshi. So, so that'll, that'll be what we do for, do for our departure. departure. Then, then with, with the, the arrival, arrival at the Bordia. 
we're doing, we're doing the, the uh, uh, core, core. What is that? The core four arrival. arrival. Let's, Let's go ahead, ahead and put the uh, airport information there. there. And, and let's, go, let's back go back to Ditch Ditch Adis, Adis or the or Gordia. Gordia. Just, just to, to get, get an idea, idea of what, what the arrivals, arrivals are, are right, right now. now. We've got, We've got uh, approaching use land, land runway, runway 31. Okay. okay. 31 is in use unless, unless that changes. changes. So we'll, so we'll go, go with 31, and that, that is what Simbrief chose, chose for us as well. 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 So, so it is, it is an RNAV approach. approach. Let's, take Let's take a look, a look at, at what Yankee versus Zulu is. Zulu. Here's, here's, here's Zulu. Zulu. No, this, no, is, this is, is Yankee. Okay. okay. So, so Yankee, Yankee has, has you go, go past, past fly, fly over, over the airport, the airport to drive, drive, and then, and then do, do like, like a box, box and come, come down to ramp 31. Let's see what see Yankee, Yankee does. does. Yankee, Yankee has, has come straight, straight in from Chalen. I kind of like this idea, this idea of, of a box with Yankee. Yankee. So, so I'm going to choose Yankee, Yankee for, now. for now. We'll see, we'll what, see they what they assign, assign me. me. Uh, so, that's, so that's the flight, flight plan, plan for, now. for now. And, and of, course, of course, flight, flight simulator, simulator is not money, money to, load. to load. I might and have, I have to, restart to restart it. it. While that's it's going... going um, don't, don't know, know why. why we don't have music. Let's see. Y'all hear, hear any music? Cause Cause I, I don't. Let me, let me see. see. Desktop, Desktop audio. audio. Should, should be, be hearing. hearing. Not, not sure, sure why I'm not, not hearing, hearing my music here. Open the sound, sound settings. settings. Okay. okay. iTunes. We will do that. We'll turn, turn it, down. it down. So that's not, not so loud. loud. Okay. okay. Um. Not, not sure, sure why. This music, this music doesn't want to play. play. I'm not hearing anything. anything. Microsoft Flight Simulator, Flight Simulator is doing, doing. I'm, I'm probably going to have to, to I still have an echo? echo? Let me, Let see, me see here, here. Advanced audio, audio properties I got my monitor turned, turned off, off. Filters I have going on here. No, no filters. 
let's, let's try, try this. this. Let's change, change it over, over to, to India, India Broadcast, broadcast and, see and see if that fixes it. Because I think I, think I, have, I have it. it. On straight. straight. Let's go ahead and turn both of these on. on. Then we, then we can, can change, change our property. Our property. Video broadcast. Let's see, is that any better? If that's any better. But uh, this is switching from my base mic to NVIDIA broadcast and did a it's supposed to help with room echo and noise dampening, so who knows? Um, should probably apply some filters. I've been so, been so long since I streamed. All my settings are gone. Um, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, I'll, fi I'll fiddle with my noise uh, <clears throat> mic settings later. Um, I think I'm going to have to reboot Microsoft Flight Simulator because it doesn't want to launch the flight. So let's go ahead and open Task Manager. And then let's... let's in task. Okay. And let's start it again. Okay. Let's go back to broadcast. So now I've got the room echo removal turned off, and this is with the noise removal turned off. That's turned off. That's turned on. I don't know if any of those make a difference. So I also turned the strength down. Maybe that will help. Let's move the mic a little closer as well. There we go. All right. Hopefully we can get this flight started this time. FSU IPC7 is what allows me to connect to that sim. So here, this is VATSIM, and that's how I connect to the flight controllers. Okay, I love the random <laughs> music that it, Flight Simulator wants to uh, put on and then automate. <laughs> It's supposed to be turned off. Ah, mic needed to be closer. There you go. Yeah, it's not a, uh, it's a Blue Yeti. It's, uh, so you know the quality of the Blue Yeti. Um, I, I guess I need to have it real close. I literally have it like now, it's like not even six inches from my face. It's like right here. So.
All right, let's go to Charlotte's. See out. So Delta actually parks over here on the Alpha gates. So we will choose, let's choose Alpha 7. And just so you can see my settings, I do live weather and live traffic. Uh, but multiplayer is turned off. Let me actually double check my um, graphics settings to make sure it did not change. No, okay, so I changed it down to 1080p um, for streaming because my computer cannot handle 1440p or 4K <laughs> flight simulator and then streaming on the same computer. So if I had a streaming computer, it might be different, but I do not. And I, I don't know if you saw that, but uh, 493 hours now in game since it launched. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's um, gate seven. That's Charlotte. That's going to be our departure. And hopefully it decides to launch this time. Game needs to come down some. Okay, let's see. And Microsoft Flight Center Simulator crashed. That's great. Let's see. I don't know if that's going down or not. Down or not. What's going down? It's upside down right now, so it's kind of hard to for me to know. Well, let's try this one more time before I give up. <sighs> of course, the day that I want to do a flight and the simulator just doesn't want to work. I'm all set to go. I've got everything planned out. I tried to do that before I started. Yeah, we'll just go in normal mode because you can't do anything in the other mode. And... I don't know why that starting music does that, because I have it turned off. Oh, now it's checking for an update. That's great. I don't know why my... I don't know why this doesn't want to play music for me. I'm trying to get it to play free songs that are stream friendly um it's from a guy i know on um youtube called harris heller his company creates these stream beats that's a whole collection of free um free music that you can use so this one's 42 minutes let's use that one and i don't get it i don't hear it I don't hear it. Okay. I'll forget about it then. And um, if Charlotte doesn't want to load, maybe I'm going to switch to Atlanta because I don't know why Charlotte is giving problems tonight. Sometimes it's the airport. 
the airport just doesn't want to load. All right. World map. Different uh, gate this time. Let's just do A10. All right, let's see what's going to happen. It's loading a lot faster. Yes, I can actually fly from New York to Paris in this plane, but. I haven't done that because it is a six, no, it's longer than that. I think it's an eight hour flight. But you can speed up the flight uh, simulator rate, I think up to four times. And so it cuts the speed in half for, so it'd be a three hour flight. Let's do, hey, look at that, we're actually in. Game. All right, so we have no lights because I start from cold and dark. So first things first, turn the flight pad on. This is your electronic flight bag, electronic flight bag. Call up the flight. It grabs this from my account. Let's look at our weather here. What's what's going on? What? So. Okay, come on. So we've got some activity up in the northeast, but we'll be flying just south of it. Looks like. So that's good. All right, let's go to our vehicles. We can get the taxiway going, power, baggage, catering. Jump outside so you can see it going on. So there you can see. And this is the default. Oh wait, why is the, there we go. Let's just do one audio source. Um, this is not the default airport. This is a um, payware airport. You can see there's some people inside the terminal. And uh, the terminals have much better detail than the default airport does. Much better lighting. So, And you can actually see the parking lot. So, I like it. Okay, let's turn this thing on. Go to overhead, battery 1, battery 2. And we have steady voltage. External battery. Let's get some lights. Internal lights. And we got uh, flow goes from bottom to top. So in the A320, you want to turn things on that are lit. So we have the crew supply. Uh, this doesn't have a light a lighted button but it's the captain and uh i f forget what the uh oh that's captain pressure captain pressure so the that's the uh the front uh pressurization for the captain and the co-pilot and then the most important thing is the aiders this is what gives the plane its navigation um in the real world, this takes about seven to eight minutes uh, to get going. But since this is a simulator, uh, I've got it set to turn on immediately. Uh, and since we are in the cockpit now, let's go down to the middle column and turn our nav and logo light on. That'll turn our lights on out here. And also our nav lights which is on the edges of the plane do that let's also turn our seat belts 
No smoking, emergency lights. And then I also like to turn the integrated lighting on for the, which I think it looks a lot better. Now I typically don't do the fire safety drill, but just for fun, uh, before we shoot up the uh, processing unit, let's go ahead and do the fire test. Uh, why is it this not? No longer wants to work. Oh Lord, what did I do? Oh, that's what I, oh, they moved the button. It was over here. Okay. So that's, that's really all we wanted to do. And we can also do this and make sure that that light, the red light comes on here on the dashboard. So that's good to go. I don't know how to reset this now. But anyway, so that's good. This is a simulator, so it should never be bad. Um, and really, you don't need to turn these pumps on until you turn the engines on. So let's go down to our center console, get the integrated lighting set up here. Um, this is a night flight, so I don't need this uh, turned on too much. Uh, but for the uh, PFD, for the navigation display, though, I do like it a little bit brighter, maybe about a third of the way. Then we move over to the uh, autopilot uh, console, get the integrated lighting going, and the display lighting a lot brighter. Move down to our center consoles, the ECAM, upper ECAM, I like about halfway. And then here's the lower ECAM. Then we have our integrated lighting for the lower console. And if we want to be even fancier, we can do the flood lighting, since we are on a night flight. Get some flood lighting there and over here. Get that on. Okay. You know what I don't have over here is my iPad, so I can't use my server. We'll have to use the old-fashioned way here. Let's get the McDo set up. We're going to go to the AOC menu and init. And we're going to grab the init data request from SimBrief. And it pulled my flight information. Now we're going to wait and balance. And OFP request to get the packs and the weights. And I also have this turned on to instant. Oh, that's new. <laughs> oh, and there's a uh, passenger like uh, like ambient noise in the background. I don't know if you can hear that. That's new. Uh, so our center fuel, our center gravity for zero fuel weight is 24.7. So let's go ahead and make our wheel here. 25 or close to it. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, on behalf of myself, your captain, the first officer and cabin crew, I'd like to take this time to welcome you aboard our flight. We're just wrapping up some paperwork up front here and waiting to see final numbers from the ground crew, then we'll be on our way. Flight attendants will be coming through the cabin shortly with a very important safety briefing. We do ask that you give them your full undivided attention as they review the safety operations of this Airbus aircraft. We do appreciate your business having you aboard this flight. If there's anything we do to make your flight any more enjoyable, please don't hesitate to ask. Welcome aboard. Well, that, that announcement is new. Um, let's go back to... Let's see. Let's go back to... What do I need? What am I needing? Oh, Navigra. Yeah, or a uh, brief. I need some data from my report. I need what the cruise temp is, that's minus 47, so we can go back 
and enter minus 47. Did not pull that correctly. Usually it doesn't pull the temperature correctly. It does have the correct flight level, which is 330. And let's see what the tropo is supposed to be. It's 42550. So let's go ahead and change that. 42550. And for flight plan, I actually need to connect to some brief because I believe Charlotte is online. Let's turn mode C on. Uh, engines mode C. on um, there we go and yes Charlotte approach is turned on so let me go ahead and load my flight plan in that I downloaded from SimBrief these are my legs actually these are my legs here and we're gonna file and give that a few minutes in the meantime, I can get the digital ATIS from SimBrief. So I know that's hard to read, uh, but we have information uh, Sierra. Uh, our altimeter is 3020. So let's go ahead and set that here. And I like this. Um, this plane because it actually connects the pilot and co-pilot's altimeters so you don't have to deal with them twice. So 3020 and then what is the uh, Q and H is 1023. I do that because the center or the uh, backup is only in Q and H. So 1023 that's the backup. And we'll go ahead and set this to 8,000 since that was what the flight plan says our departure should be. All right, let's go ahead and tune in to Charlotte uh, approach and verify that we are turned on to Charlotte approach, uh, which is. 126.16 and that is what is showing on the com so we are good all right let me open up a notepad for some notes in case he decides to give it Pocket to me 1065 taxi uh, echo to the right good night yes, echo to the right Walker, 1065 so. let's turn this down That was loud. Okay. 683, turn right, heading 270, descent to maintain 4,000 on the rollout. The field's going to be at your 2 o'clock. Winter miles report inside. Uh, 270, 4,000, we'll call the field 683. Charlotte Approach, good evening. Delta 4235 is with you, ready to copy IFR clearance to LaGuardia. Got a 4235 Charlotte Archer, extract fees. Roger. So PVC is a uh, pre departure clearance that they will message me here in the uh, app, which that's actually a real world scenario. Delta 683, we have field. Delta 683, turn right hitting 330, clear visual approach, 36 right. 330, clear visual, 36 right, 683. Let me turn this down. Let's see if I can get that mixed a little bit better. He is taking. There we go. So he sent this clearance to me. Uh, Clear to the Guardia via Barmy 4, and my uh, legs are there. Jets maintain 8,000. Okay, that's what I put. 
Uh, expect flight level 330, 10 minutes after departure. That standard departure frequency is 132975. That's the departure. That is Atlanta 1 Center. Uh, Squawk is, God, I can't read that, 63, let me bring this over here, 6354. 683, 36 right, clear to land. Clear to land, 36 right, 63. That's 54, 63, 84, there we go. Oh my goodness, Jason, 63. 54, oh, it's 54, duh. 63, there is no 8. <laughs> Just realized that. Now let's go ahead and turn T-A-R-A -A on so that I am pinging. They should now see me when I take off. Let's read the rest of this additional info. Expect runway 36 right for departure. All right, so that is a change from the sim brief. So we're going to go to departure, 36 right, Barmy 4, and we're doing the Raleigh transition, the Raleigh Durham, that's what that stands for. All right, so you see this flight plan discontinuity that's there because we are on a RNAV departure. So we, we don't expect to have legs until we get directed to Meshi. So that's why there's a discontinuity there. And then let's go down to LaGuardia. Let's go ahead and put in the arrival, which is 3-1. RNAV. 3-1 Yankee, and we're doing the Cory 4 arrival with the Dries, I believe it's Dries, so you what I'm looking at, Dries is our starting transition, so let's go ahead and plug that in. Rise, and then our last waypoint before the arrival is PXT. So we'll go ahead and choose PXT here and insert that. Now I can go to our flight plan, make sure there's no other discontinuities like there is here. So let's go ahead and clear that out. And we are good to go. All right. Let's make sure our weight, I mean our... Uh, 683, Charlie, to the ramp, good night. Fuel is correct. Uh, Charlie, to the ramp, 683. So it should be 12,552 uh, pounds. We refuel it from over here in the uh, flight uh, bag. So, 12,000, I like to round it up, so 600 pounds. And now we're showing it at 12,600. We should also be showing 12,600 in the upper. Central aircraft on frequency, Charlotte approach is going to be hopping off. You can make any requests to Atlanta Center on 132.9 or 7. You have a good night. Thanks for the ATC. Good night. No problem, please. Uh, 12.6 pounds is what I have, so we are good there. Now we're going to do the init B page and grab our zero fuel weight from the flight plan. That is what we had. Remember, we had 24.7 for the center gravity. And we just did our block fuel again, which is 12.6 tons. And let's check the winds from the report on Simbrief. Trip winds are, oof, a 60 knot tailwind. That's gonna push us real fast. All right. 60 knots. 
you see that flight time go down when that see it went down almost 10 minutes with the flight time that's great over to performance page we always um, in the a320 almost 99% of the time we use flaps one uh, I like that they keep the transition altitude uh, based on what the what airport location you're at it actually knows what transition to use we're going to automatically get our V our vertical speed numbers uh, calculated by just clicking on each of these uh, buttons next to them this is actually a very low uh, vertical, uh, vertical speed number. Uh, usually it's in the 130s. Not sure why it's so low tonight. All right, so that is really all we need to do to set up. Um, let's go ahead and close the door. And we're going to go ahead and disconnect the Jetway. Now, since approach is offline, I can start uh, the engines and push back without approval. Uh, since there's no ATC at the airport, I don't need to get clearance to taxi. And I don't need to get clearance until I'm ready to taxi. Um, and that's how it works in America uh, and in Europe. They require you to request push and start, uh, no matter who's on. But for America, uh, we can go ahead and just get started. So let's get the APU going. Why is this got a fault? What is this message? Emergency shutdown master switch is off. Oh no. Well. How do I bring this back down? not letting me ay 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 like that's part of engine 1 yeah man am i going to have to restart this thing Stupid. Let me see if let me clear that message out. It's not letting me clear it out. Clear. Okay. Now let's go up to Why can't this, why won't this go down? <sighs> Literally about to take off. And this thing. It's just not letting me do anything. Let's see if Google can help us. V320, reset, APU fire. How do you push this back in? Now the APU won't start. There we go. You need to shut down the aircraft and call the engineers. They'll need to replace the fire bottles and reset the system. It should only take. <laughs> okay. Uh... 
Dang it. It looks like... Okay. I guess I'm going to have to restart. Now I know not to do that. With the... Uh, with that APU fire in system. Let's try this again. Let's, we'll see how fast I can get started. Just go here. I remember this was 12,600. So I'll go ahead and fuel that while I'm here. And yeah, we'll still do all this part. Get uh, bat one and two going. Go down to 27.8. I think it has to be over 27.5 volts. There we go. We're steady at 27.8. Captain Aiders, one, two, and three. And now it should say on bat. There we go. Back down here, nav lights, heat belts, no smoking. Emergency lighting, integrated lighting. He's going one more time. All right, and then we go oh, radio. Let's go ahead and turn the multi scans on I didn't do this last time and then I was on six three five four um I believe it was thirty twenty for the uh, Q and H, and that's ten twenty three in the center. Turn the uh, back up. Do set up. We already have the twelve point six tons of fuel. Weight and balance. Get the passengers. In it, page did not load my flight number. Oops, forty two thirty five. Okay, minus. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, on behalf of myself, your captain, the first officer and cabin crew, I'd like to take this time to welcome you aboard our flight. We're just wrapping up some paperwork up front here and waiting to receive final numbers from the ground crew, then we'll be on our way. Flight attendants will be coming through the cabin shortly with a very important safety briefing. We do ask that you give them your full undivided attention as they review the safety operations of this Airbus aircraft. We do appreciate your business having you aboard this flight. If there's anything we do to make your flight any more enjoyable, please don't hesitate to ask. Welcome aboard. Cordia, we've got uh, RNF, 3-1 Yankee, and we're doing the Cori 4, Rise, TXT, okay, that's input, Init B page, uh, block fuel was 12.6, and we had 60 knot winds.
This should calculate. There we go. Performance page. Lapse one, vertical speeds calculated. All right. Uh, let's get our initial altitude set to 8,000. Then we can get our APU going. Actually, before I do that, let me get my virtual airline tracker launched, which I always forget to do. Just so you can see what that is. This is called Black Box Virtual. So let's go ahead and charter our flights. We're in an A320 uh, aircraft. I'll just grab it from SimBrief. That is correct. Save the flights. So now we're going to Charlotte to LaGuardia. Start and it started. All right, so that's good. APU, let's get that started to re and get the beacon lights on and the strobe light Fire on. Attendance, arm doors and cross check. Go ahead and detach the jetway. I do like how it has the uh, sound effect from the APU. Another plane. Right? Oh, there's an American Airlines flight right here. Cool, they're on. There's another American flight over there. Oh, they're giving the passenger briefing. Okay. Oh, let's go ahead and... What am I doing? Let's go ahead and shut the door. Let's go ahead and shut the door. Oh, that's cool. The sound from the uh, crew went down. There's Dansby. Hi, buddy. Okay. Um, oh, Ecamm, let's see. Oh, we should be good. Yes. All right. Uh, APU bleed on. And all of our pumps get turned on now. External power can come off and call that there. I am also going to start my pushback app that I use and call in the tug. See the tug. It's right there. Just so you can see where we are in the airport as the tug is starting. Uh, here we are at Alpha Terminal. They'll probably have us go from Echo 9, Echo Cross 5, Echo 1 or 2, to 3, 3, actually it's 3, 6, right. So we'll probably go Echo to Mike to Alpha 4, Cross 5, Alpha 4, Alpha, Charlie, Charlie 1, or Charlie 2. So that's probably what they'll, the route that they'll give us. Let's go ahead and connect to, oh, let's get the uh, engines going. So we need to move our normal indicator to start and the A320 starts with one and then goes to two. Most engine, most planes with dual engines start on two and go to one but the uh, standard operating procedure for the A320 is one and two. So one, get started and we should see some N2 percentage going up here and there's the EGT is coming up, and the N1 soon. Let's go ahead and push back. 
So that's going and oh, you know what we forgot? The emergency brake. <laughs> this is why I have crash detection turned off. Because that would have ruined the whole flight. Alright. I love how these vehicles are just like, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna go right behind a plane that's starting the engines. So we're going to wait till we get to this point here in the uh, alley before we make our turn. And we're going to go ahead and make a right turn. And by now our engine should be stable and it is at 19.7. So we can start engine T. And we've got a, you can see down here, we've got a lead going over to engine two. And two is started. Now the N1 has begun. Oh, there's a plane right here. I don't see their lights. Where's their lights? And we'll go ahead and stop right here. We can call the tug away. We can put that parking brake back on. Since we're waiting for the engines, we can go ahead and put the speed brake on. Uh, the uh, spoiler, rather, and then flaps to one. Then we're going to do the auto brake max. And that is the last. Um, actually, nope, we need to turn our lights on. Actually, and we'll, we also need to turn the APU off. Get the lights on and turn this to normal. Oh, I was a little too early on the line. Okay, but that was pretty close. All right, let's go ahead and go over to Atlanta Center. And he said 975, so let's go ahead and go to that. Close rate 5628, uh, turn right heading 180. Right 180, blue circle 5628. Blue Street 5628, descent on maintain 4000. Now 4000, uh, Blue Street 5628. Atlanta Center, good evening. Delta 4235 is ready to taxi uh, at Charlotte. Stand Echo 9. Stand by Blue Street, Blue 4645, Charlotte altimeter 3020, landing north, cross Magic at and maintain 14000 on 250 knots. Cross Magic at 250 knots, 14,000, JetBlue, uh, 1645. Who is calling for a taxi? Uh, Delta 4235. Delta 4235, Atlanta Center, runway 36 Center, taxi via Echo, cross 25. 36 Center for Delta 4235 via Echo, cross runway 5, Delta 4235. Okay, that was two people talking over each other at the same time. Who was the other aircraft calling? November 689, Victor 4 is with you at flight level 135. He should have uh, waited for me. 689 for Victor at Lattice Center, climb and maintain, uh, maintain VFR. Maintain VFR, 689, Victor 4. Alright. So we can go ahead and get going. So he changed us to 36 center, which is fine. Uh, 
to leave. Nope, Echo is the other one. November 232, two, Julius, are you going to be able to make Wargon spite 11000 and 250 knots? Yep, there's Echo right there. Yeah, we'll start. We'll make it happen. Roger. He's probably not going to make it happen. <laughs> He's probably going to be way too, way too fast. Alright. There's another plane landing out there. Finally going. An hour later. Blue Street 5628, Edison and maintain 3000. Number 3000, Blue Street 5628. Atlanta Center, good evening, Delta 340. With you, pilotable 340, turning right to Nakamals for a gay train. Who's the aircraft calling? Delta 340, 340. Delta 340, Atlanta Center, welcome. So he gave me permission to go ahead and cross. Good evening. This is November uh, runway five. Call. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, cross. Coming one two thousand. Instead of hold. November nine five Golf Atlanta set our climb and maintain level two seven zero. Climb maintain level two seven zero nine five Golf. Delta six zero three for taxi. Delta six zero three three six set our taxi via Mike Echo cross runway five. 3610, Mike Echo, cross with the 5683. Mike Echo, cross 5. Blue Street 5628, turn left heading 030, intercept 36 center localizer. 030, and we'll join 36 center localizer, Blue Street 5628. I see him out in the distance, sir. Alright, we're coming down to the end of 36 uh, Charlie. So we'll go down to Echo 1, since they didn't specify which to use. I always default to Echo 1, or the first, furthest available uh, entrance to the runway, even though I'm not going to use this a 10,000 foot runway. I'm not going to need all of that to take off. I'll probably not even need half of it slow down as we come up to this turn. Well, we didn't need to slow down all the way. Come on now. Left center, American, 10, 6, 7, 8, 8, 3, 5, 0, 17 miles out from Larry. American, 10, 6, 8, Atlanta center, welcome. And let's go ahead and hold here. Emergency brake is on, or parking brake rather is on. Let's go ahead and do our Chapel 1645. And I need to change my departure to 36 center. Army 4, Rally Durham. There we go. And now we should be 36 center. Make sure this is good. Number 112, Mike Golf, cross Andre at and maintain 13000 and 250 knots at Atlanta altimeter 3029. Cross Andre at. Go ahead and I'm turn sorry, around. 13000 and 250 knots. Lights on. Cross Andre at 13000 and uh, no more than 250 knots. And uh, altimeter is 3029 for Tomichael. American 7061 Atlanta at 30,000 feet. Okay, Charlotte Tower just said for me to contact them, so let's go ahead and do that. Atlanta Center, good evening, Charlotte. Charlotte Tower, good evening, Delta 4235 is with you, holding short runway 36 Center. 
That's the 4235, sorry, Tyler, 330 when we're 3600, for takeoff. Fly heading 330, clear for takeoff, 3600, that's 4235. So he's having me go directly to um, 330 instead of 1260 first. So let's see where we're at. Oh, that's a little too fast. And then we can go ahead and Start our turn so we can see the runway. Do the final check here. Let's make sure we are on 330 for the heading. Boom. Which it's a right turn from our current position. Okay. Charlotte Tower, good day. Air Canada toga, toga, toga. Two, requesting IFR clearance to Miami. We have information. Gulf. Air Canada 452, Charlotte Tower, thanks for Gulf. You're closing to Miami Airport. Icons for departure. Mix transition. Now, Mention 8000. And we've achieved takeoff power. One departure. departure frequency 132.9 to 7. Squawk 6302. V2 rotates. Clear to the uh, Miami International via Icon 4 departure, uh, no Positive transition. Rate here. Uh, climbed, uh, clear to 8,000 feet, expect uh, 340 after 10 minutes of departure. Uh, departure is with 132 decibel 97, squawk 6302, Air Canada 452. And we're going to go. Air Canada 452, we'll be back. Correct information hotel now, current. As much as I appreciate it, you don't want me to call in with it. Expect runway 3600 for departure. This mission will tell us now. 360 there, Air Canada 452, thank you. Charles Tower, good evening, Blue 3628, inbound on final runway 3600. Blue 3268, Charles Tower, 1008, runway 3600 for the land. Clear to land, 3600, Blue 3628. That's a 4235, turn heading 070, contact departure. Delta 4235 is going over to departure, Delta 4235. Thank you. And, and just from that right, turn heading 070. Thank you, 070 before going over to departure, Delta 4235. Thank you. Delta 683, Charlotte, you up. Turn the autopilot on, and we're going to go to 070. Uh, Tower Low Walker 1065, Information Hotel, like the Vico 5. There go. Walker 1065, Charlotte Tower, you're clear to the. I do not see Charlotte Reagan? departure. Let's see. Ah, uh, Delta Charlie Alpha Airport, coming for departure, ID transition, in the top. Charlotte departure is not online, 132.975. Shout out to 363 short runway uh, 367. The Atlanta Center to Southern Maintain 113,000. The Maxwell altimeter is uh, 3039. Uh, Pilot Club 223, uh, go right down to 13,000, please. Go right down. Atlanta Center, good after, good evening. Delta 4235 is airborne, flight level 8000, heading 070. Delta 4235, Atlanta Center. I show you on a heading of 360 at the moment. Turn right heading now, 100, climb and maintain 8000. 100 and maintain 8000, Delta 4235. Delta 37, Charlie Shaw, altimeter 3020, landing north, descend via the Jones E2 arrival. I don't know why this resets to uh, heading uh, of 00. Delta 32 and that number is 3020 for Delta Center. All right. So you can see on our departure. Less than five minutes. 
Southbound here. We're back. making this right turn, and they're going to eventually get us November, one, one, two, Mike, off. direct to Meshi here. Seven, nine. Go over 27 9 over to Michael. Have a good day. All right. We're holding at 8,000. I wish they would have given us higher. But uh, that's all we get for now. Got a pair of flights coming in. Delta forty two thirty five, turn right, go direct Barmy on course. Right turn, direct Barmy on course, Delta forty two thirty five. November seven two three, Romeo Mike, contact Atlanta Center one two five point zero two. One two five point zero two, we'll see it through Romeo Mike. Delta 4235, climb and maintain follow up to 230. Up to 230, Delta 4235. Jet Blue 1645, turn left heading 180, descend and maintain 4000. Uh, left 180, descend and maintain 4000, 1645. Let me go ahead and... Traffic, traffic. Wow, there's a really close plane. That was 340. That was really close. Normally the air traffic control would not allow planes to be this close. Delta so, T40, do you copy? Delta 340, Atlanta Center, or cross Andre at and maintain 13000 and 2500 Nazi on all altimeters 3030. Why is it. Delta 340, cross Andre at. Uh, this thing is confused. At 13000 and Hartsfield altimeter is 3030. For Delta 340. Delta 683, climbing out of 3000. Delta 683, radar contact, climb and maintain follow 230. 230, 683. Delta 683, right turn, direct Barmy on course. Direct Barmy, 683. Delta 1645, turn right heading 190. Right 190, 1645. Come on, turn off. There we go. Okay, we passed 10,000, so we can. Okay, now we're direct Barmy. Okay. So that was a little hectic getting out of Charlotte. We've got uh, some low hanging clouds tonight. If I zoom in, you can actually see um, my character and co pilot. How you doing, guys? Unfortunately, it doesn't generate passengers or anybody in the actual aircraft interior. It's not that detailed. Chapel is 1645, descend and maintain 3000. Down to 3, 1645. So, let's just go back inside. So we're making our way up to 18,000 at that point. We will go over to standard altimeter, which is uh, 29.9 or 2. out of Charlotte. We're now coming up on Albemarle. Um, Albemarle should be right over here. 
on the left. There's Albemarle right here. Finally, it got the uh, connection to Marmy. Okay. Don't know why that took so long. Yep, that's that's all for tomorrow. Chapel 1645, turn right heading 270. Can't really right, see anything. <laughs> when there's no cities, there's like not not really anything to see. Um, but I guess this is 485. That's got to be the 485. American 1761, contact Lunar Approach 135.32, and computer sending by the RL, please. Okay, 761, you said 135.32? The side we had the Jedi to roll. Make sure you um, make the crossing with search of Jedi, then contact Alana Approach 135.32. Copy. American like 1761, um, descend and maintain 8,000. I like the approach American names that Atlanta's got. They've got, like, Lord of the Rings characters and yeah. Star Wars yeah. characters. It's pretty cool. Delta 4235, climb and maintain level 230. Climb and maintain 230, Delta 4235. Jet Blue, so 1460, Jet Blue 1645, reports after your 2 o'clock, 10 miles report field. Oh, that's good We've to say, I am climbing. Jet Blue 1645, clear for the pressure on my 36 center. Clear for the visual 36 center, 1645. Center Frontier, flight 1050, 186, the same as we had a stock car 3, good evening. Oh, I wasn't climbing as fast as I could. Center, what's your 5411 at flight level 330? Okay. So that's our departure. Now, my black box has a countdown timer, but it's not accurate. Although it looks like they may have, they may have fixed it. And hour, 16, 45, hour 31. Right, 3, 3, 0, tower, they may have fixed it, but you can see it logs all the way. Center, over yeah. the tower. Thank you to the ATC, I appreciate it. Blue, uh, it logs seven. everything. American 1761 at one approach, 135.32. <laughs> 135.32, thank you. Center, dot left one holding to right one, five right at Alpha 4. Who's the aircraft calling? Delta 1151. Coming up on 18,000. Delta 1151. Uh... 18,000 standard feet. A uh, standard altimeter. Also on the backup. Delta 1151, second. Delta <laughs> we're holding to your five right at Alpha 4. I just stand by Delta, Delta 4235, leaving my airspace, radar service, Trevor, Craig, Mr. Over to Unicom, Delta 4235. Delta 633, leaving my airspace, radar service, Trevor, Craig, Mr. Craig, Craig. CID. Unfortunately, Washington Center is not on tonight. If we go over to uh, SEMAWARE. We can see, oh, why did it zoom in like that? This, I'm, okay, I'm confused. Shouldn't he have passed me over to Atlanta too? Oh, I'm coming up on Washington Center here. I need to go over to Washington Center.
it's, it's a lot of parking brake the issue. I would say try toggling the parking brake or hit B on the keyboard. Sometimes it gets confused. Washington Center, good evening. Delta 4235 is with you at 230. Delta 4235, Washington Center, Squawk 0544. 0544 for Delta 4235. Delta 683, Washington Center, good evening. Climb maintain, Delta 370. 370, 683. Delta 1638, contact Boston Center 134.7 today. 134.7, So you can see hey, Washington, Delta 683, we got on the departure. About, uh, 10 minutes. Blocked, uh, I believe it was Delta 683, that's fine, let me know when you're back. And We're going to be going call. left at Bata, up to Raleigh. That'll be our departure. American 1070, Washington Center, good day. Clear to Boston Airport, Suki 5 departure, Swan transition, then as filed. Squawk 0566. American 1070, read back, correct runway 1 for departure, advisory taxi, altimeter 3032. Washington Center, Delta 4235 with the request for higher elevation. Delta 4235, climb maintain, follow 330. Thank you, sir. 330, Delta 4235. Sometimes they forget. So now I'm going up to my planned Washington Center, again, 5367. I think we finally figured it out. We are um, 10 miles north of the Collin intersection, uh, 13000. So, 5367, welcome back. We're trying to maintain 1 1000 altimeter at Norfolk 3023. Just hmm. trying to maintain 1 1000. No idea what that was. So, we are actually coming up on the Raleigh Durham area. Raleigh Executive Airport is right over here. And um, Raleigh is right up here. There we go on our turn. It's hard to see at nighttime, but you can see it turning. District 354, contact New York Center 125.32. Good day. Airwing 354. Airwing 354, go. Airwing 354, New York Center 2532, good day. 2532, Airwing 354. Alright, slowly making our way up to 330. So now we're just monitoring the ascent, making sure the power is steady uh, for the speed. We can also monitor the engines, make sure that this is steady at 90%. Everything should be green. 
And yes, I still have my fastened seatbelts on. Standard operating procedure for Delta is to leave the seatbelts on until you get to cruise. And then on the lower ECAM, uh, we've got uh, fuel used so far during the flight is 2,760 pounds. Golf whiskey, 230, 100 miles west of and we're currently holding at 24 Celsius in the uh, in the uh, cabin. It's the nine golf whiskey one center. Good evening, squawk zero five five six. The uh, zero five five six. Outside temperature is minus 10 Celsius. Blue streak fifty three sixty seven. It looks like we're getting a transponder error code for you. Just reset your transponder zero five seven six. Zero five seven six. Blue streak fifty three sixty seven. Southwest 886, Indy Center is offline. Frequency change advisory is approved. G'day. Let's clear one of these. We don't need to go twice. I didn't notice that it was Center difficult. Center Diamond, Joseph Dolph, he's AFK for about three minutes. Roger. November 9, Golf Whiskey Radar, contact one zero miles south of Beckley. Maintain flood level 330. I'll have lower for you in about 10 miles or so. What's going on with this flight plan? Okay, I fixed it. Washington Center, Delta 5023, requesting you send me to light level 120. Out of 5023, contact approach 119.7. So if you want to take a look, we are currently in Washington Center and will be for the duration of the flight. Um, they will even get us on our approach. Uh, so they'll give us the descent um, Delta 2141 Center, stand by one second. Delta 2140 is cleared at Boston Airport. Suki yeah. 5 departure. Swan Typically. transition. And that's filed. Swag 0536. We should expect 10,000 feet by Corey. 0536, Delta 21. So let's go ahead and. Correct runway 1, call for taxi, altimeter 3032. Get that going. So we have 10,000 feet here. That's 68 nautical miles. Delta 2140, runway 1 for departure, advisory taxi, altimeter 3032. 3032, move by Delta 2140, and departing runway 1. Fixed info, K-O-R-R-Y, 68 nautical miles, on the radius. 03 Golf, back at the gun. Zero zero three golf Roger, leave my airspace shortly. Indy Center is offline. Frequency change approved. Good day. Now, all for the unicom for zero three golf. Thank you. Number nine golf whiskey cross Libby at nine or thousand. Dulles altimeter three zero three three. Cross Libby at nine thousand. So golf you can see that's generated a uh, radius, a radial circle around Corey. So I know when I get to this waypoint here. Midway between PXT 50, 50, 50, and Corey. Trying to maintain 6,000, expect visual approach, runway 5. I should be on my descent. 6,000, expect visual runway 5, Blue Street 5367. Blue Street 5367, turn right heading 180. We've just reached a few feet from 44. And I do want to remind you to please keep your feet and elbows clear from the aisle. Fly high 9271, descend by the all day and three arrival runway 2. Correction, runway 5 left, altimeter there, 3023. Send me the all day and three arrival 5 left, fly high 9271. All right. American 1078, runway 1, taxi via Julie. Oh, no. Don't know what that was. And now it's the boring part.
where you just listen to the traffic. If it was a daytime flight, we'd be enjoying the views. Oh, there's a uh, real life flight over here. If it's got a label, uh, that is a real life flight that Microsoft is tracking. Uh, Washington, good evening, Walker 1065 and a 11000 for flight level 2 tree intro. Walker 1065, Washington, good day, climb maintain flight level 270. Maintain flight level 270, Walker 1065. They're talking over each other. That's a no no. Lock United 4121, runway 30, attack to the uh, Zulu Yankee 11. How'd you get it to work? Ah, reload scenery. That didn't help when we just cycled the, the brake, not through my um, throttle here, but down through my arm, um, through the actual soft, well, using the mouse to recycle the brake on the panel. There you go. Awesome, man. Thanks for the tip. November 705, I believe that was you calling. Uh, Let's see where we're okay, at What here. would you request? Uh, request uh, IFR clearance to uh, Andrew. So clearance. Roanoke is down over here. November Coming 705, up third on, to uh, Andrews. As filed. South Hill, Mecklenburg, runway, 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 runway. And we're also coming up on the Lawrenceville uh, VOR waypoint. VOR is a radio uh, waypoint that I can actually tune into this frequency if I wanted to to get a uh, ping back. I have it at the moment. Expect runway eight for departure, advisory taxi. So we're gonna make a right turn here and get over to Hopewell. Yep, that's Hopewell. Center Walker 1065 requested almost it. There is Walker 1065 another aircraft I didn't about 20 miles. Restriction. My apologies. Or you uh, resume almost speed Walker 1065. American 1078, wind 34018, gust 28, runway 1, clear for takeoff. I don't see them. Sometimes you can only see them on the BFB. Uh, Actually, this is the navigation display. This is the POV. Uh, so you can see they are. 5367, turn 10 degrees, right? 10 supposedly degrees. Supposedly 1700 feet higher than me. It looks like they're traveling east bound. Still don't see them. Okay. I really wish my iTunes would work. I don't know why it's not working. I'd like to have music playing when it's got a lull in the flight. Level 63, back on the flight deck. Roger. So we're coming up on Lawrenceville. We'll make a right turn. Back to 58, crossing 1000. On this uh, jetway. Very good, send somebody over here, contact, climb, maintain, follow the 330. I hope well. Climb, maintain, level 230. Airway, excuse me, not jetway. This is an airway. And what I like that Delta they've done... Delta 2140, ready taxi. Uh, is they've given us... Delta 2140, information on the, on the uh, navigation 24. display. Delta 
Juliet, um, cross runway 4, Delta 2140. So we've got Target 1078 reaching how many nautical miles to the next waypoint? One, maintain, level three, three, zero. What the heading is for that waypoint? And how much time it's going to take to get to that waypoint? Um, you can also see um, we got a pretty good ground speed going tonight with that uh, 100 plus knot. Tailwind. It's about to get even faster because we're going in the direction of the tailwind. Uh, so that's pushing us up to 530. Center, West Jeff, it's 411 at flight level 330. Let's have 5411 wash center radar contact level 330 so today. Here, the, uh, the black box application recognized now that I'm at cruise. So that's pretty cool. And 3, I can 3, actually 3, 3, go 3, 6, 7, to 7, maintain 4, my 4, 000, airline's 3, web page. And we can see my. My plane is right here, currently over Virginia, Southern Virginia. And it should be tracking my flight. Yep, here it is right here. Um, cruising and we're at 534 knots. You know what I didn't turn on? Let's go ahead and turn it on. I forgot to turn it on earlier. Uh, Fly Live Studio. This was an app that I found in my last flight um, that gives you information, but it didn't capture the grounds, like the landing stuff. So let's go ahead and put in our departing IC, uh, ICAO, which was Charlotte. Arrival is LaGuardia, DAL 4235, call sign. Washington Center, Delta 41, United 4121, out of uh, 21 now, runway heading. United 4121, radar contact, climb and maintain flight level 390, clear direct A guard. 390, and uh, direct A guard, 4121. What was that guy flying? Delta yeah. 2140, ready to go over runway 1. Delta 2140, wind 34018, gust 28, runway 1, cleared for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 1, Delta Okay, so why isn't my overlay November 705, fly runway heading, runway 8, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, ready to clear for takeoff, 705. Delta 2140, 1900, climb in 10,000. Blue Streak 5367, flighting 240 to maintain 2000. 
I'm trying to... 2340 radar contact, climb anything, five with 290, clear direct swan. 290, direct swan, Delta 2140. Oh. The center walker 10 6 I'd like to step away for five. Huh? Walker 10 6 let me know when you're back. Right here. Blue Streak 53 60 70 up to have the airport in sight. It's 9 o'clock and 5 miles. Uh, we're just breaking out of the clouds it's here, Blue Streak 53 60 7. We're looking. Right. Blue Streak 5367, right, we got it. Got a browser. Blue Streak 5367, clear visual approach, runway 5. Clear visual, runway 5, Blue Streak 5367. That is 1215, Wash Center, good day, squawk 0517. Overlay. Hi, squawk 0517, that is 1215. It did the same thing. Let's see. Let's remove. Browser source. Light overlay. Oh, because that's why. 1920 by 1080. There we go. I got that going. I forgot to look at this when I started. So, according to so we're not golf with, you expect visual Fly Live, three, four, we're right. expecting our arrival at 3.05 yeah, Zulu. Right, and current time is 2.36 Zulu. So, in about 30 minutes, We should be there. In the meantime, it is a little boring when you're at cruise. I'm not going to lie. Um, let's see where we're at. We are making our way up. Delta 2140, reaching 10,000. The Virginia coast. AT max best forward speed on your climb out for sequencing. A uh, max best for us, see, we can give it all for you, Delta 2140. That'd be wonderful. <laughs> Washington Walker 1065 back. Right. Let's see, where's our top of the set? There it is there. So we're still about 90 miles or so, 95 miles from our top of descent. They'll probably start us before that, though. It's actually 72. Oh, wait, let's take 72 nautical miles. So let's fix that. 72. That's right, I did this when I was still climbing. And then over to flight plan. There we go. I've got a flight behind me and a flight in front of me to the left. Can we see either of them? Ah, there's, there's that guy. Blue right there. 5367, wind 360, it's Fife, runway Fife, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 5, wind 5367. There's a flight right there. I think that's this guy behind me. Right here. That's him right here. Can't see the other guy. Over nine golf whiskey to send maintain six thousand. He's past 6, 000, the, the, uh, the visibility limit. So yeah. I need to remember to start this uh, Fly Live Studio when I take off. I forgot all about it.
DC Center, uh, Delta 2140, we're going uh, 345 for you. Thanks, sir, I appreciate it. <laughs> Yep, now we're just waiting for the top of descent call out. Um, I do expect this uh, Washington Center guy to give me an early uh, descent. So, yep, now we're going to uh, Papa X ray Tango, which Washington Center, very good evening. That? Challenger 654 with you, brother. That's toxic. We're about uh, 100 southwest of the uh, okay. Kinston VOR, flight level 370. Number 654 with you, Bravo, Launch Center, Roger. Oh, there it is. Number 4 with you, Bravo, Squawk 0521. 0521 in the box well, for 4 with you, Bravo. That is 4121 or June normal speed. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong aircraft. Delta 2140 or June normal speed. Delta 2140, going back to normal speed. We're we'll Niner Golf Whiskey Let's to see. maintain 4,000. 4,000, Niner Golf. There we go. Just realized that why is Battle.net launching? Go away, Battle.net. I don't care about you. Delta four to two thirty five to send by the Corey four arrival Gordy altimeter three zero two eight. Descend via the Cory 4 arrival 3028 for Delta 4235. Thank you, sir. American 1078, contact New York Center. So he gave me the approval to use that right, uh, go to arrival. Right, American 1078. Two. <laughs> Washington Center, Citation 9 Golf Whiskey Airport. Right. So we're coming up we're on the Cory 4. Visual 3489 Golf Whiskey. So I can just utilize the uh, call ups here. As we go, so by Ridgey, I should be at twenty-seven, at flight level two seven zero. So one to ten sixty-five to send by the count three arrival landing north. I'll send her three zero three two thirty thirty two. Actually, we can we can use the um, Walker ten sixty-five. You back on. We can use this call. So all of these are above. Affirmative Walker 1065 back. So Walker as 1065 to send by the cat. Long three as I am one, at Corey three zero three by 10,000 feet, I should be good. Give the cat's three runway one, Walker 1065. So back. let's continue to use that. And you can see our top of descent radius is coming up by right before uh, Echo November. Delta, uh, what is that? Echo November Oscar. So, coming up pretty quick. And I was incorrect. This is not a countdown. This is the Zulu time where you expect to be at the waypoint. So it says we should be there at uh, 246 Zulu. And it is currently 243, almost 244. So it gives you the time that you can expect to be at this waypoint. You can actually go down and you can see that Eno is expecting to be 0250. So a little bit more than six minutes. 
before we, uh, a little bit less because it's going to be before that waypoint when we start our descent. Watch at 5411, contact Cleveland Center, 134.9, good day. Over to 34.9, uh, have a good night. Watch at 5411. Blue Street 5367, clear runway ties. Blue Street 5367, taxi to the ramp. Let's ramp. Have a great refresh day. the tonight, uh, Blue Street 5367. Yep. Uh, digital ATIS. the Gordia. We are still expecting a localizer 31 approach in the East Runway 31. 31 is in approach. All right, so I chose wisely. Hopefully they'll allow me to use the Yankee Arnav arrival when we get up there. I think, I think um, New York Center is on. Yep, the whole East Coast is lit up. Look at that. That is fantastic. Oh, we even have LaGuardia. Uh, oh, or New York Runway Approach. Three, four, eight, land. Four land, runway three, four, and nine, we've got... Four. What do we got? Just LaGuardia Aetis. Okay. No tower or anybody. We have tower at JFK. No tower at... No, no love for LaGuardia? Come on now. So, make sure we had hit the uh, top of descent yet. Um, if I go back to that map, I like looking at this because it tells you how many flights we got tonight. It's not too busy. Over almost close to 700 flights worldwide. Um, I should be somewhere around here there I am right there it does for Okay. Washington Walker 1065 leaving Padamo 27. Right. So we're coming into, coming up on the top of our descent. Well, I had 9271. And we have uh, 7,500 pounds. Check the visual approach, any chance of five uh, right will be gone. Of fuel. Here, I had so we're looking good five. there. Send Reef does a pretty good job of doing the fuel calculations for you. That is a strange accent. So we can see the approach now at this point. Eh, it doesn't really do a good job. Of putting it on the uh, display when it's uh, Delta 2140 contact New York Center 125.32 C. 
So I'm going to go ahead. 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 Go down to 10,000. That at 41.21, contact New York Center 125.32 today. And we're going to go ahead. Do our descent. So now, let's see if um, LaGuardia's ATIS will come up for me. There we go. Information Golf. And we are... From the flight deck, ladies and gentlemen. As you may have noticed, we have begun our initial descent down to our destination. Now would be a good time to wrap up any business you need to take care of as we prepare for our approach. If you are up, once you return to your seat, we ask that you remain seated until the aircraft arrives safely at the gate. Flight attendants, please prepare the cabin for a ride. Fly 9271, fly present heading to center maintain 2000. All right, 3028 is the... Um, let's go to our arrival page, 3028 is our Q&H for the arrival. And the... Temperature is currently zero degrees. And the winds are. It's hard to read with this monitor. The winds are at three. Five ninety two seventy one five right clear to land. I've registered the land fly high in seventy-one. Three two zero at seventeen knots. Yeah. Whoever seven zero five flatting zero two zero inspector visual pro terminal one left. It's gonna maintain eight thousand. Now I need the bit rock the uh barrel right, which uh, is zero, my zero, maintain eight um go no go. And my decision altitude, which is what another way of saying Barrow, and that is 618 feet according to this chart. So let's go ahead and do 618. And that's what we're plugged in for RNAV 31 Yankee. We are good to go. I'm going to push this in a little closer so that. It's more realistic. Usually I like to put it at 20 miles. 20 or 40. And as we get closer to the airport, I change it down to 40. Right down to 20, rather. Unfortunately, LaGuardia is offline tonight. Oh, LaGuardia Approach is on, so I can use them. So next, oh good, it's it's showing the descent this time. It, it decided to show it. That's good. So uh, when we get to 18,000, we'll put in the 3028 altimeter from the standard. Since we're in America, 18,000 is the standard transition point going uh, between the posted altimeter and standard altimeter. So that is what we're waiting for. Take a look outside. 5991, it's in about discretion. Maintain flight level 240. That, that dude has a weird voice. It sounds like he's doing this. Cal Air 989, <laughs> contact New York Center 125.32. New York Center 125.32 for Cal Air 99. Alright, so we're descending down to 10,000 feet. We are at at 21,900. Oh, 21, the active for AP Jet Center, straight ahead. 
Line golf, let's get taxi to the Rams good day. Um, we are currently. Where are we at? We are approaching Bessie. Bessie. Where is Bessie? Walker 1065, expect There's a visual runway one approach. So no, Bessie is one say above 170. So we're going to be well over 170 by the time we get to Bessie. That's why I like using the top of descent approach. Um, when there's a lot of... When your approach only Delta tells you... Contact New York approach oh. 120.8. Over to 20.8 for Delta 4235. See you. Two zero point eight. Well, up and wait, runway four, Delta twenty seven forty one. New York approach, good evening, Delta forty two thirty five is descending via the Corey four arrival to the Guardia, currently eighteen thousand five hundred. On the 4235, New York approach, information golf is current in the Guardia, expect to localize the runway 3 1 approach. Expecting localizer 3 1 approach, Delta 4235. Alright, we just passed 18,000. Uh, 2021 traffic 2 the crossing runway, the wind 32017. 1025. He did say localizer though, so we may need to do some changes. Let's go to our flight and, plan. Uh, LaGuardia, just the 2775 Arrival. 2775, runway 4, taxi via Alpha Echo. Bravo. Localizer 31. Runway 4 via Alpha Echo Bravo. Via Corey 4. So we'll do that. And PXT. Boom. Did the quick calculation. So now let's go ahead and make the chart change uh, for that arrival. So we need to find localizer 31. 1,500 climbing 5, 2741. Let's go ahead and pin that. New York Walker 1140. This has a DH of 600 feet. So let's make that change on the desk approach. 600. Turn right heading 060. 060, 2741. Let's take a look at this chart because I, I did not study it as much as I did the other one. So by Queen, uh, we need to be at 1,700 feet. And then at Farbury, we make our three degree final approach uh, to 3 1. So that's a quick, we'll probably get a uh, heading over this direction and then come around since we're coming from the south. Delta 2741, contact your center, 125.32, good night. 2532, have a great one, Delta 2741. All right, so we are now approaching Brand. Let's go back over to our arrival. And we're at above 11,000, and then we need to be at 10,000. So we are exactly on course to be at 10,000 feet by Corey. Uh, 12,000 
And what a cool part about the Airbus A320 is when you get close to 10,000 feet, it automatically slows the plane down to 350 knots so that you don't exceed 350 knots once you go below 10,000 feet. That is a standard FAA requirement for uh, jets. I got 1329, 1700, climbing 5,000. I got 1329, thanks, climbing 15, 15 15,000. So you can see we've pulled up. American And we are slowing down to 250. I can assist the slowdown with the speed brake. Let's turn that on. That makes our descent, or that makes our uh, deceleration a lot faster. And you can see our ground speed is down to 342. And we've hit 250, so now we can safely go down to 10,000. And since we are also at 10,000, I will turn the landing lights on. Three two zero one four gust two zero runway three four clear for takeoff. Three four clear for takeoff. Walker eleven forty. We've got a lot of activity coming into New York. All right, let's see what's next. No other altitude instructions until I. Uh, Delta forty two thirty five stay altitude. Delta 4235 is holding at 10,000 feet. Delta 4235, thank you. Number 2081 Echo Cross, the runway 4 at Papa, left double alpha to shelter. Okay, cross the 4 at Papa and left um, alpha for shelter 81 Echo. So this fly live is a little bit off. Contact, say altitude. It's showing I'm almost down to 9,000 feet. 5,000. Except for 2775, thanks, but, uh, you can see, like according 000. to this, I'm at 10,000 feet. American 1329, turn left heading 270. Left turn 270, American 1329. Approach is busy, that's for sure. Look at that. Mm. 2775, turn right heading 060. Right 060. So we can see here's plane there, there's a plane there, there's a plane there, there's a plane there and there. Delta 4235, it's going to maintain 7,000. Down to 7,000, Delta 4235. Walker 1140, radar contact, say altitude. For 1140, it's uh, 2,000. Walker 1140, thanks. Turn left heading 270, climb and maintain 7,000. So you can see it does take... Does Walker 1140. A couple of ticks for the plane to actually start the descent, um, and you do when you change the knob when you get to your desired altitude, you do have to click where you see the mouse how it goes from the turn to the down arrow. That's your click, and um, in reality, you would pull pull that knob down in order to get the altitude. Is that 25 feet for American 1329? American 1329, affirmative, 125.32, good night. 2530. This is going to be interesting. Check with all of these aircraft in the uh, area. 32, Over to center, 2532 for Jeff Blue. 2775, good night. Sure. Sure. That's what they, uh, that's a uh, Vatsim deal. LaGuardia uh, 2000, in route Lehigh, looking for uh, transit class Bravo. 751, Lima Uniform, New York Approach, Squawk 0360, LaGuardia, altimeter 3028. Squawk 0360, altimeter 3028 for 751. Yeah, that's what I have, good. 3028 in my altimeter. I'm still at three, uh, 250 knots. Walker 1140, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to maintain 1111,000, Walker 1140. What I can do is put LGA... Uh, 751 Lima Uniform Radar Contact, 20 miles east of LaGuardia Airport. Here to enter Bravo Airspace, proceed direct LaGuardia and uh, maintain 2000. So I'm 34 nautical Clear miles Bravo, from the direct airport. LaGuardia, maintain 2000 for 751 Lima Uniform.
So I'm coming up on 7,000. In a minute. American 1556 radar contact, say altitude. Uh, 1,500 from side, 1556. American 1556. There's the altitude. airport out in the distance. 12,000, American 1556. It's a good shot with the lights. Walker 1440, climb maintain 15,000. 15,000, Walker 1140. Actually, that wasn't LaGuardia. I think that was JFK over there. Central American Airport Guardian Information Hotel, now carrying up temperature 3031. Ooh, 3031. Uh, 3031. Let's go ahead and enter that into this 30. Up to 4235, proceed direct LaGuardia. Direct LaGuardia, Delta 4235. Okay, direct. Walker 1140, turn left heading 250. I don't have that in my... 250 in the Arch Center, Walker 1140, good night. American 1556, turn left heading 220. Left heading 220, American 1556. LGA. So I can get rid of Green, Apple, and Proud. Let me get rid of. Out to 4235, descend and maintain 4000. Down to 4000, Delta 4235. Do you want me to maintain 250? At the 4235, speed is your discretion. Roger, sir. Thank you. Let's slow it on down to T210. Get rid of Apple and Proud. We'll see what happens there. Oh, four thousand. One Lima uniform uh, after LaGuardia to proceed southbound of the East River and then uh, right turn over Central Park to join the Hudson River southbound. That's one. I'm sorry, one more time for 751 Lima uniform. One Lima uniform uh, after LaGuardia proceed southbound on the East River and then a right turn over Central Park to join the Hudson River southbound. Roger, after LaGuardia, we'll go southbound East River right, turn over Central Park and uh, uh, Hudson River South. Thank you. 751 in the uniform. American 1556, contact New York Center 125.32. 12532, American 1556. Have a good one. You too, see ya. Hi, Dansby. Dansby seems to always know when I'm about to land my plane or when I'm trying to take off because. He comes in here, and he wants something. He probably wants to go OUT right now because it's 10 o'clock. Actually, he may just want to go to bed. But it's Friday night. We don't need to go to bed at a normal time. Yeah, but he doesn't know that because he's dull. And let's stay on this heading, actually. That way we don't get in trouble when we pass the airport. Do, 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 do.
He's just wanting pets. <laughs> Dansby, what are you doing? Look at all this traffic. Oh goodness, I don't know if you can hear him. So, where's Manhattan? Is that Manhattan right here? Yep, there's Manhattan right there. A little bit of pop-in tonight. And the buildings don't light up. I wish that they did. But there's the, um... Oh, it does as you get closer. Okay. There's the new Freedom Tower. Well, it's not really new anymore. It's several years old. And there's the rest of the city. Okay. So it finally decided to, uh... And I'll do the other camera angle here so when I put the uh, wheels up, you'll be able to see it. So we're holding at 4,000 feet. <laughs> so the 4235, turn right heading 070. Right turn, 070, that's a 4235. No! I don't know what happened there. Okay. There it is down there. That's the Gordia. I believe that's the Gordia. And we'll be landing on this runway here. Is that? That's that can't be the Gordia. Where airport is that? That's JFK over there. Yeah, there's 3 1. Okay, so he's going to give me a loop to loop. of people on now. What do we got? Let's make sure uh, the Guardia approach. That's all we... So no LaGuardia Tower and no LaGuardia Round. So I will be on this channel for the duration. And lots of activity tonight in New York. There always is, though. Because we're in New York City. Get a rope. Don't know if you remember those commercials. It's my... For the 4235, turn right heading 130, descend and maintain 3000. Mm -hmm. Down to 3,130 Delta 4235. I always overshoot it. No!
there I'll just use my mouse wheel there we go 130 now I'm almost parallel to the approach going the opposite direction you can see there's the approach there and there's one, two, three. Let's see if I can see them all. Yep. One, two. Ooh, there's actually more. There's one over here, here. We can bring it on down to two. Oh. What is that uh, second? Lap speed 180. For the 4235, turn right heading 220, descend and maintain 2000. 220 and down to 2000, Delta 4235. Two thousand five hundred. Oh, they got a new call out voice. They've changed it. All right, we can put flaps two down now. That is a lot of it. Look at all that activity. Look at all this. Dang, son. And uh, here we are. Five one, Lima uniform contact. Uh, New York Tower one eight point three. Coming up on two thousand feet. One eight point three for seven five one, Lima uniform. Take care. Forty two thirty five. Turn right heading two eight zero. Intercept the localizer. Two eight zero to intercept localizer. Delta forty two thirty five. Let me make sure the localizer is the correct 108.5. 108.5, it is correct. The 42.35, three miles from Queen, cross Queen Edder above 1,700, clear localizer, only 3-1 approach. Clear localizer, 3-1 approach, Delta 42.35. We are making our right turn. This is fantastic. We have, uh, you can see this little diamond. That is our glide path. And we have captured our glide path for 3-1. So let's go ahead and slow it on down to... One six five, and we can put flaps three down, and also put the gear down. Gears coming down. Remember to put our uh, brakes on medium. I don't know, does this have... No, it doesn't. The 
4235, wind 34017, got 22, runway 31, quarter land. Clear to land 31, Delta 4235. And I don't think I get a glide slope. Uh, Ansby? Doesn't look like I'm exactly on the path here. Slow it down. So I'm trying to get my two dots. Seven three seven X ray runway four taxi via yeah, Alpha Echo Bravo. One thousand. One thousand. Coming in a little hot. Five hundred. Five hundred. Too low. Terrain. Five hundred. I'm actually too high. Too low. Terrain. 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 Two hundred. Too low. Terrain. Too low. Terrain. Too low terrain. Too low terrain. Thirty. Twenty. Oh. Thirty. Ten. That was the slot landing. Twenty. Ten. Five. I'm not used to localizer landings. I'm going to have to go to the end of this. Don't even want to look at what my landing rate was. Why is my parking brake set? We're going all the way down to the end of this from uh, ramp here. Why does it stop? I don't like that it stops like that. Where do you approach? Delta 4235 is cleared runway uh, 31 at uh, Papa at the end.
So the 4235 New York uh, departure runway one runway four taxi via Papa Alpha Alpha. Taxi via Papa Alpha Alpha Delta 4235. Thank you. So 4235, 4235, taxi via Gulf, hold short of runway four. Gulf, uh, taxi via Gulf, hold short runway four, Delta 4235. Sorry, I kept uh, <laughs> losing that mic. Okay. Radio check. That's fine. Thank you. Departure Delta 4235 is holding short at uh, runway 4 at Gulf. All right, let's see what our terrible Delta 4235 cross runway 4 at Pop continue taxiing. Papa, 751, I can't Gulf even. Alpha to the ramp, have a good day. Gulf Alpha to the ramp, Delta 4235, thank you. I can't even file this flight because that is a hard landing, and that was because I couldn't slow down. I was going too fast. I should have slowed down before I got to that final waypoint, and I didn't. So that's my fault. New York Grumpy 419 radio check. Bye bye five. Thank you. Now sometimes when you're on this thing. Seven three seven extra radio check. Thirty five by five. Thank you. It uh Let's see which one is alpha? I think alpha This is definitely not how they have it on the uh, charts. <laughs> so this is Alpha. I'm going over to Concourse Bravo, which is right over there. Let's go ahead and slow down. Make our turn. They don't have this painted or anything. Wow, okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our flight. Yeah, they don't have this air. <laughs> this jetway isn't even. These jetways aren't even connected. <laughs> What's going on? They don't have anything painted over here, so I can't tell where I'm supposed to park. But anyway, um, I hope you, if you watch, you enjoyed. Uh, I am going to log off for the night and um yeah it was fun i don't know maybe i'll start doing these flights online more often instead of just doing them for myself um but i had a good time so join me next time we'll see where we go see ya